Hey guys, it's Jess. This is a very big topic that people talk about all over the internet. It is clothing and confidence. So this week I watched one of the most spectacular and underrated indie films of all time, Sing Street. It is set in the 80s in Dublin and it is your dream come true. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some costumes from the film Sing Street and how it directly influenced the confidence of the characters in the film. The costumes in Sing Street are essential to the characters' development and for us to be able to learn how we can also grow our confidence by wearing the right clothes. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Connor meets Rafina and decides he likes her, and in order to impress her, he wants to form a band. <laughs> Already the premise of this film is adorable, extremely wholesome, and it's a very encouraging creative film about young people wanting to pursue their creativity amidst the worst circumstances. Despite all of the terrible things happening to Connor, including transferring schools to save money and being bullied by his peers and even being bullied by the authority figures in his new school, he struggles to find himself and to feel confident whatsoever. Rafina is a 15-year-old girl that lives in a house for orphans, essentially. Her mom is in a hospital, her dad is dead, so she doesn't even really have a present family to take care of her, to nurture her, and she determines she wants to be a model as a vocation. She leaves school and she pursues modeling, but she obviously knows how to dress. So Rafina is first shown in this all denim 80s look. She sees herself as a much more adult mature woman, clearly not having parents to take care of her at such a young age and kind of looking out for herself and pursuing modeling. These are all factors that kind of contribute into her high fashion style. The one scene we see her guard down is when she's listening to a song in her room that Connor gave her on a tape and she's taking off all of her makeup and we just see her kind of taking her guard down as she removes her makeup and her hair isn't big with the voluminous moose style and we see her crying. She relies on her clothing as somewhat of a crutch and it definitely is the one thing that she uses to really boost her confidence. The main character in the film is Connor. We're in Connor's POV throughout the film. In the beginning of the film, we see him to be very unsure about himself. His style it really only consists of his school uniforms and practical garments that a young 14-year-old boy would wear. The first time we see him experimenting is with some dyed bleach blonde bangs and we can tell that he had been experimenting with some box dye. Unfortunately, he gets ridiculed and treated very poorly by the other people in the school. The authority figure in the school is not a fan of the makeup he's wearing, which again, in the 80s, that was a big thing. The David Bowie look in all of us was extremely common. So he wanted to experiment with that. Now that he's a creative, he's in a band, he wanted to try it out, but unfortunately he gets treated very poorly and rejected. So in the following scenes, we see him becoming more and more aware that his situation in life is very devastating. His parents are splitting up, his school treats him terribly, his peers treat him terribly, the authority figures rejected him. So he essentially really only has himself, his creativity to rely on. So. He goes to his clothing to boost his confidence and he explores, he experiments. We see him rolling up the sleeves. We see him tucking in his shirt. We see him with all these scarves and layers. We see him with that, you know, very 80s, the cure hairstyle after his brother shows him the cure. So we know he's, he's directly influenced by other creatives in the music industry during that time. Once we see him begin to experiment a bit more, towards the end of the film when he's really starting to know who he is, his music is going well, he is discovering himself. And for a teenager, this makes sense, that a teenager would start exploring in different creative areas and they start to really pick what they like and reflect that in their clothes. So we see him wearing these circle, very cool dude glasses and a little hat. We see him with the rolled up sleeves again and all the layers. Again, he still has to wear his school uniform, but we see him applying more styling and creative interpretation of his required school uniform. So this is the scene, one of the most important scenes in the film, that we recognize that Connor has really evolved and found himself. We see him getting picked on by Barry as he always is and has been, and he finally has comebacks. 
He finally has smart things to say, witty remarks, and he actually intimidates the bully and appears to be smarter and for once doesn't get affected by the bully's attempt to bring him back down. So this is how we know that clothing can actually affect someone's confidence. It doesn't mean that he was relying entirely on his confidence to be able to defeat the bully, but his clothing has kind of helped him and aid in exploring things that he liked. So now I'm gonna talk about an article I found on Harper's Bazaar that talks about the theory of enclosed cognition. Forbes Bell says that a better way to think about dopamine dressing is in relation to personal rather than universal associations. So basically this is just stating that there isn't one way to be more confident with clothing. Obviously each person has different associations with specific colors, patterns, silhouettes and styles of clothing. Whatever you're drawn to and whatever you associate with good feelings, let's say, or happiness or confidence, that's what you're gonna associate with feeling more confident when you wear it. So don't think of it as, if I wear red, I'll feel more sexy, or if I wear a tight-fitted dress, I'll feel more confident. That's not necessarily true. This article also states, the theory of enclosed cognition teaches us that the attributes we associate with specific clothes are incredibly powerful. When we wear these clothes, the associations have the power to change the way we feel and even change the way we act. So for example, if you associate a yellow jumper with happiness, then you will embody that feeling of happiness when you wear it. Exactly what I was saying. Every time you wear black, if you feel good, which a lot of people I know feel that way, and it makes you feel happy, confident, slim, whatever it is, that's what you should wear to be more confident. So the trick to clothing and confidence is knowing yourself and figuring out what you're drawn to and what feels good on your body. So the trick is to experiment. Just like we see Connor and Rafina throughout the film in Sing Street, we see them experimenting constantly with different styles and trends that we saw in the 80s. If you work in an office or you have a uniform for school, you're still not limited. Again, we see Connor wearing his school u uniform nearly throughout the whole film, but somehow we're still able to see him experimenting with styling, accessories. He still found a way to be within the dress code and experiment with his personal style. My call to action from this video is the next time you get dressed, become more self-aware about how you feel when you put on your default outfit. Maybe try something slightly different. Maybe try different shoes and you'll carry yourself differently. Maybe try adding an accent color and see how it feels with a bit more vibrancy. Who knows what you'll find when you experiment with your clothing and you might end up being a lot more confident just by trying something new. So that is another video, another costume analysis, and another espresso. Uh, don't start a band just for a girl. That is my tip from Sing Street. Don't do that. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this week. If you have any thoughts about clothing and confidence in your day-to-day -day life, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next one.